right. She went to uh, the convenience store and took the Raisinets because she is allegedly a god. A quote-unquote god. Yeah, Nancy Mullis was seen taking a $2.99 bag of Raisinets uh, from uh, what a convenience store, yeah. and then she left. Uh, uh, once she was outside, the suspect flaunted the stolen property at the store. <laughs> I've got the raisin egg. She was given a trespass warning and a court summons for theft. The candies made their way back onto the shelves at the store later uh, on in the day. She went into a discount family dollar and caused a scene. Uh, was waving her arms wildly, cursing, stating that she was a god and she could do what she wanted. I do what I want. Be, I do what be, I want. I'm a god. Uh, look at me. I'm a god. I'm a god. You can't arrest me. No, I don't, she wasn't even drunk. This is like. I'll arrest you. Yeah. I'll arrest you. Mentally not all there. All right, and there's these kids who uh, broke into a home and decided to make some brownies. Totally. <laughs> Police say that the burglary happened late July 22nd, uh, though the department uh, only recently publicized it. Police say the boys were found with drug paraphernalia, more than two pounds of... Uh, <laughs> it was pot. Come on. Yeah. That's what they had. An That's unspecified drug used to make the brownies. Hmm. What could that be? Heroin brownies? It, no. They were pot brownies. Yeah. The boys have been charged with uh, something in juvenile court. <laughs> Township is in the Philadelphia suburbs northwest of the city. Yeah. They broke in and did some baking. Uh, and what, more, did, more ways than one, apparently. <laughs> See what you just heard or any part of the Murs in the Morning show now. Get the link at yesfm.com for the YesFM YouTube channel. 96.7 YesFM.